been asked to convert the following measurements to millimeters cubed. And to do this calculation properly, we need, a, we need to know a couple of quantities, linear conversion factors. So the two linear conversion factors we need to know to do these calculations is that one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters, and that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. That's all we need to know. We're asked to convert 14.2 uh, meters cubed into millimeters cubed. Because it's a, it's a measurement of volume, we can use the linear conversion factor, but we have to raise it to a factor of three. We have to raise it to the power of three because volume is measured as length, width, and uh, sorry, leg, length, width, and height. There's three dimensions, so that's why we also raise the conversion factor to three dimensions. I've taken the liberty of expanding this expression to show what's happening. We're multiplying a thousand by a thousand by a thousand millimeters, millimeters, millimeters. So you get in the end millimeters cubed and a thousand to the power of three is one billion. Notice how one with three zeros multiplied by one with three zeros multiplied by one with three zeros gives you an answer of one with nine zeros. We call that a billion. Meters times meters times meters is meters cubed, which allows us to cancel with the meters cubed over here. So the answer is going to be in millimeters cubed. 14.2 times one billion gives you 14.2 billion. And instead of writing out the nine zeros, I just said 10 to the power of nine millimeters cubed. So there are 14 billion millimeters cubed in 14.2 meters cubed. In the next calculation, we need two conversion factors because they're asking us to go from 7.2 kilometers cubed to a measurement of millimeters cubed. So the first step in the conversion is to convert from kilometers to meters. We all know there's a thousand meters per one kilometer. So we say 1,000 to one. And how are you gonna choose which way to write this conversion factor? Do you put kilometers on top or do you put meters on top? Well, the way you decide that is that you want to, do, you want to eliminate kilometers. So the only way you're gonna eliminate kilometers, which is here in the, numer in the numerator,